State police routinely stop people every day. Most times they don't run. That wasn't the case along Interstate 94 today as troopers ended up chasing a fleeing truck off the interstate and through city streets. State Patrol Captain Brian Newin told JCTV 16 News that when troopers attempted to stop a maroon Ford Bronco for a routine traffic violation, the driver at first stopped, then fled from the scene heading for U.S. Route 281. Troopers took up the chase, which then moved back onto I-94 before the Bronco left the highway again at Jamestown's exit 258 and drove at high speeds north through the city. Berna Kunze runs a barber shop at 218 First Avenue South and was outside sweeping leaves when she heard the sound of loud engines and sirens. And the person I was driving had a black sweatshirt on with a hood up. And he had to be doing, I think, 60 miles an hour coming down the street. And then behind them were two unmarked vehicles chasing them, highway patrolmen and our Jamestown. Jamestown police and deputies from the Stutzman County Sheriff's Office joined in as the suspect turned left onto First Street by Babs Coffee Shop before being boxed in just south of the railroad crossing on 2nd Avenue. According to police, the suspect tried to escape on foot and ran into the alley behind Gun and Reel Sports where he was cornered. Officers on the scene said he had a handgun. City, county, and state officers in full tactical gear and carrying heavy weapons patrolled the area, keeping bystanders away from the scene. Captain Newin said the suspect was holed up and threatening suicide when officers called in a hostage negotiator from the James River Correctional Center. Newin commands the North Dakota State Patrol for this part of the state and he explained what happened. Well, 11.30 this morning, a uh, North Dakota State Trooper attempted to stop a Maroon Ford Morocco uh, on the Plume Road, just north of the Plume exit off of I-94. Uh, the vehicle actually did stop. Uh, after stopping, uh, the driver of the vehicle took off on the trooper, and a pursuit then ensued. The pursuit uh, ended up going westbound on I-94 towards Jamestown. Uh, the driver took exit 258, which is the Highway 281 exit. The driver then went south, the suspect went south on Highway 281. They ended up turning around, coming back northbound on Highway 281 to Jamestown. That's when the Jamestown Police Department became involved with the pursuit. And uh, the people ended up eventually down here by Gun and Reel after being pursued through Jamestown. The driver exited the vehicle, went behind the uh, building on Gun and Reel here, into the alley, had a handgun and uh, was back there threatening suicide. And eventually, uh, law enforcement officers, also the assistance of JRCC, were able to talk the individual down and place the suspect in the custody. Finally, after several tense hours, at 1.24 this afternoon, a loud report was heard from the alley behind Gun and Reel Sports. Police officers rushed in. Several minutes later, an officer came out and motioned for an ambulance to approach. Officers brought a man out and put him in a patrol car. It's not clear whether the noise reporters heard was a shot or not, and police aren't saying. For now, police aren't releasing any information on who the suspect is, his condition, or any charges he faces. For JCTV 16 News, I'm Caleb Ruby in Jamestown.